Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am very excited about what we're going to cook up in my kitchen today. We are going to do the traditional Maori boil up for the meal today. I've gotten so many requests from you guys to make this and some of you have sent me um, a little bit of things that are in it but I ended up going with a recipe that I found online from Kiwi Boil Up it's called and um, it looked pretty straightforward and <clears throat> that's what I'm going to cook up and I'm pretty excited because uh, this is a very traditional meal here and it uses, you know, all of the vegetables uh, that are grown here and it's pretty easy uh, based on what I'm looking at. Well, we're going to try it today and it looks pretty healthy for you as well. So we are going to do a um, ribs. I got pork ribs and a, uh, a like a bacon hock for uh, for the broth and, and for the meat and uh because i i picked those specifically because i think that this that this pork will give a you know really good flavor to the broth and that was a very traditional thing that was in boil ups and also pork ribs is my family's favorite <laughs> so i decided to go with what i think my family would actually eat <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today we are are going to do some um some dough boys or typical like dumplings as well to put in there. Uh, I've never made those before, so we're gonna make those today. So I'm very excited about this because this is a very traditional meal. Many of you have asked me to do this and I have not had this yet uh, in New Zealand. So I'm gonna kind of do this in different steps. So what I've already done is I've already uh, cooked the, the ribs for about five minutes just to get the, the kind of the junk off of it, which is what it said to do here. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the ribs in the pot <clears throat> And we're going to do the bacon hock also in the pot and onions. Now it calls for two large onions, uh, but I ended up having a bunch of small ones. So I cut up three small onions and we're going to put this in here. Now we're going to fill this uh, with water to cover, just to cover it. And we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to um, just let it simmer for about an hour and a half to two hours. I'll probably do mine for two hours because I just love how the meat falls off the bones. So once we have that where the meat is falling off the bones, then we are going to add all the vegetables, continue to boil it, and looks like we're good to go. But before we do that, why don't we go ahead and make our dumplings or our dough boys to go in it. So this recipe tells me to just add one cup of flour, a fourth a cup of water, and two teaspoons of baking powder. So I'm just gonna do that. And we're just gonna mix this up. I'm very excited about this because I love dumplings and I think I'm really gonna like this. So I'm just gonna mix this up and it says to make it into balls that we're then just gonna pop in when we uh, put the vegetables in for the boil up. So. I don't know too much history about the boil up, so I would love it if you guys could comment below and let me know what uh, you know. What are some you know situations and tradition, traditional things that you have a boil up with, or is it certain special occasions, or is this just a very common meal to have in a Polynesian home? Um, looks very good. So I feel like I could add a little bit more water here, but I'm not going to. We're just going to do what it says. So let me see how we do. So yeah, so we make it into some balls. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I could add a little bit more water. So let me do that. Uh, I make a lot of breads. I'm pretty familiar with making breads. So I kind of know what it should feel like. Oh yeah, that's better. I think I might have spilled a little bit when I moved it over. So that's fine. So we're just going to make this into little balls. And yeah, so tell me uh, about your traditions for this. Tell me a little bit maybe of the history of the boil up. I'm certainly in no way going to claim to know everything about this. And I'm not eating this obviously in a traditional Maori home, but would love to know more um, and would love, you know, to have one traditionally. And is this how you've always made it? It just seems very easy and very healthy. And so we're just going to make these into balls and then these are going to sit. Um, yeah, so these will sit until we get all of the vegetables going. So very, very, very excited about this and very excited to see if my family <laughs> likes it because this is easy because you have vegetables, you have your meat, you have um, your carbs, 
you have your dumpling, which, you know, we all love bread, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, so here this makes, looks like it's making about four of them. I might make a couple more just because there's six of us in my family, but I'll just do that off camera. And maybe I'm making these too big, so this is the size that I'm making it. Um, I don't think I'm making them too big, but maybe I'll just make, they're so easy. I'll just make some more and round these out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put water in here, I'm gonna boil this, and then I'm gonna let it simmer for an hour and a half, two hours, and then we'll be back to add the vegetables. Okay, we're back, and I have just been boiling these onion, uh, the ribs, and the pork for two hours, and everything is falling off the bone, so I think we're good. Now, according to the recipe that I'm following, it says take the ribs out. So I'm gonna do that. Um, it also said to taste the liquid to make sure that, hold on, sorry if that's loud, let me turn this off. <clears throat> Take the ribs out and to taste, it, make sure it's not too salty. And just so you know, uh, bef when I was boiling it, I added quite a bit of salt and pepper um, while it cooked. I forgot to say that in my last part. So let's see. Not too salty for an American. Really good though. Okay, so it's saying to add all the vegetables. So what I have here are, I have carrots. Uh, I could have used pumpkin. That was the other choice, but I went with carrots because my family prefers carrots. I also have kumara, which is the New Zealand sweet potato. Uh, it's the orange one. They have three colors. I like the orange one. <laughs> Actually, I really love it. So this sweet potato tastes very different than the sweet potatoes they have in the States. Uh, I really, really like this one. I, I find myself, uh, you know, just roasting this kumara with uh, some onion and garlic and having it for lunches and it's really good. So I'm going to put the kumara in and we have some potatoes, uh, which have been, uh, yeah, the skin has come off and they're cut in big portions. So the videos that I've watched on this has everything cut into big portions, so I hope that's right. Uh, but it was really easy. Another great thing about this recipe is that you don't have to do a lot of chopping. I mean, there's a lot of vegetables and that sort of thing in this, but it doesn't require a lot of chopping, which is great. So I'm just going to put this all in here. And so what the next steps are is a little bit hard to also put on camera is, so I'm going to bring this all to a boil and then, uh, I'm going to let it simmer for five or 10 more minutes to cook the vegetables. And however long that takes, you know, uh, I'm sure you've all familiar with, you know, how a vegetable, how soft a vegetable should be. And then it tells me to put in uh, these dough boys, which are, I made a double batch, so I made uh, four more. And we'll put those in and cook those with it for another 10 minutes and then we put the uh, meat back into the pot, getting all this in there, and we add, well, typically what they said is you add watercress, uh, which is, uh, you know, a New Zealand uh, vegetable here, but they also said you could use cabbage. So I ended up getting cabbage that I'm gonna put in and for like the last five minutes, cause you know, it doesn't take long to cook cabbage. Uh, and so I will do that as well. I went with cabbage because we like cabbage, I'm Irish, I couldn't resist the cabbage, so I went with the Although I think that the watercress would have been more traditional, uh, so I probably should have gotten that, but this is what I got. So we're getting close, we may have to do this again, but it looks really good. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here just to cover it completely with water, it's just a little bit under. And so again, I'm going to boil this and let it simmer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna add the dough boys for another 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna add the meat and uh, and this, the cabbage back in, and then we should be good. And then I will bring it back and show it to you, and we'll do a taste test. I'm excited. Okay, and we're back. And I am so excited because I think this turned out really nice. You guys have to see this. I've tried to let it sit for a minute so that you can see. Look, look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I dished it out because I wanted to make sure I got a little bit of everything. I have some kumara, some carrots, some potatoes and some dough boy, and some ribs, and some cabbage. It smells so good in here, and this just looks so divine. It smells so good, the, the meat is just falling right off of the bone. 
if you can see that it's just delicious um <clears throat> yeah so let's try it i'm going to try the broth first a little bit of the it's like soupy mm. oh wow that's really good it's a lot better now that i've cooked the vegetables in the broth um as opposed to just the meat the meat delicious um carrots potatoes kumara let me try this dough boy i'm dying to try this here i got a knife now i don't know is there a certain way that you eat this <laughs> Okay, I can't get it. It keeps going down. Okay. I don't know. I might just need to pick it up with my fork and bite it. There we go. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Very good. Very good soaked in the juice. Otherwise, I think it would be quite plain. But yeah, I think my family's going to like this too. This is good. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit steamy on the camera. It's uh, lots of steam coming from here. It's so beautiful. I can't believe it. The cabbage looks great. Mm, now I kind of wish I would have had the watercress, but another day. So, so good. Mm, I just really like the broth. It's just really, really nice. I highly recommend this for anybody out there who hasn't tried any Americans. If you haven't tried it, you can get all of this in the States. These are all the ingredients you can get. Well, that you'd have to use sweet potatoes and not kumara. But this is very good. It's just boiled. Nothing's fried or anything like that. And, you know, you're not putting a lot of uh, oils in it or any extra. Mm. It's good. I'm hungry. So thumbs up for me. I'm a big fan of the boil up.